So our goal is to try to hear light with sound and to play sound with light. Suppose you take a piano and you play the same piano one time in a cold winter's day and another time in a hot summer day, that piano is going to sound differently because the piano strings actually respond to the change in temperature and the note that they play actually changes pitch depending upon the temperature outside. And so by the same analogy is if you took a piano string, right, and you shine light on it, that light's going to cause that piano string to heat up and you could actually hear the light hitting the piano string because the pitch of the note is changing. So we're just basically doing the exact same thing but scaling it way down. So instead of a piano string, we're working with drums. What we basically have is a, what we call a nanomechanical drum head, which is a thin layer of carbon atoms over a hole. And we want to try to actually hear the sound it's making when we play it. And the drums we make are small. So the, the, the size of one of these drums is about 10 times smaller than the width of one of your hairs. And the thickness of the material that makes the top of the drum, right, the membrane that you stretch over to make a drum is only one atom thick. So it's as small as it can be before, yeah, you can't make it any smaller than this. So this is kind of a very new way of detecting light. So typically people use conventional um, silicon or semiconductor electronics to try to transduce light. Instead, we're using um, a purely mechanical method based with no moving parts to turn um, light into sound. This has the advantage of being able to see a much broader range of light compared to um, a conventional silicon diode, which we have in our lab. This type of light detector would be able to detect all the colors of light. And I'm not just talking about colors that you can see, I'm talking about colors that you can't see even, right? It detects the light that that body heat actually gives off. This type of detector could also detect light, like UV light, like light that gives you skin cancer. It could detect all these colors of light. And what I think is the most interesting is it could detect them in principle very fast. Because these drum heads actually vibrate so fast, they could detect light on the time scales that these drum heads are vibrating. So it could respond to changes in light very quickly. So you can make an array of detectors like this and have a really cool broadband detector camera, essentially. One thing that I think we get to do, which not a lot of other people in science get to do, is play with a lot of very unique tools. So as part of basically my everyday, my day-to-day -day work, I'll be on a suite of machines from electron microscopes where you can see objects down to single nanometers um, to atomic force microscopes where you actually are seeing, you can see these graphene drums by touching them. And that's something that, if you look around many physics departments, people don't have the chance to do. Oh, I've always been kind of interested in, in technology and science uh, growing up, like Star Trek and things like that, and that kind of got me interested in the field. In principle, you know, and since we're talking about Star Trek, right, Jordy uh, wears the goggles that allows him to see all the different colors of light very fast, so you could use a camera like the one I'm describing to build something like that in principle.